It matters where you buy bundles. Hacksify. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wacker Rush Gaming. It's nearly 3.5 months since I made this video where I talked about the 5 changes I wanted State of Survival to make to improve our gaming experiences. However, week after week, State of Survival continues to make huge missteps that got me wondering, is King's Group really looking to kill one of their most successful game titles? So in today's video, I want to talk about how State of Survival has gone about to kill their own games in five steps. Firstly, State of Survival has got an inherent issue of disregarding their community and they don't listen to their own community feedback. Business Management 101 teaches you, in order to have a successful business, you need to understand your customers' specific needs, which in turn can help you tailor your products and your services for their needs. Time is precious during a disaster, but taking the time to listen to the people affected is crucial for effective communication. It's not always been like this. The customer in State of Survival is its community. State of Survival has shown huge disdain to not listen to their community and in the last few months walks into one crisis after another, yet had taken no steps whatsoever to listen effectively to its community. No business has survived to date taking this approach, so State of Survival, I ask you, when are you seriously going to listen and engage? your community. Secondly, State of Survival continues to release features that the majority of players do not want. How many of you wanted a new resonating infantry hero, Olaf? Call him whatever you want, he's Olaf to me, don't you see the similarities? How many of you wanted the Limitless Hero Generation 2 to be released so soon? How many of you wanted the aircraft formation systems? How many of you wanted the rally enhancement system? I mean, the list could go on, yet majority hey! of players are asking hey! you to slow the hack down. Hey! Yet, State of Survival continues to push out huge features that makes previous features obsolete within 6 months. Yet, you know what, the most hilarious part of these monthly releases of used features, typically targeting big spenders to spend more money has resulted in big spenders themselves quitting the game. Talk about own goals. The famous Mishari, he's quit. Many of the top 100 BP players, including QP, he's also quit. Dave also quit. Karlstrom from State 148, an amazing max player, he's quit. And there are hundreds of big spenders that's already left the game since January. I mean, the amount of big spenders quitting is just so high. Yes, there are other mega wheel spenders out there that are enjoying the game a lot more, but will all that loss of revenue with hundreds of other big spenders quitting be replaced? by the current big spenders? I don't think so. And that's why State of Survival total revenue month on month continues to be stagnant and has been in decline since the turn of the year. Don't King's Room get it? The strategy to increase revenue is seriously flawed and when you're constantly squeezing and releasing broken features, what do you expect? Yet I know many of you still love State of Survival, especially for the community and the friends you've made. However, before that, I wanted to share with you an important message from the sponsor of today's video, Paxify. State of Survival is an expensive game and due to global price hikes, it just got more expensive. This is where Paxify can help you save up to 25% on in-app purchases. The discount amount is based on your in-game prices and the exchange rates. Paxify offers State of Survival players a fast and straightforward onboarding process that allows you to start saving straight away without any waiting period. Due to their exceptional customer support, many survivors are truly delighted with their amazing service. Added with their range of payment options, including the WISE app or crypto payments, with detailed instructions and support provided step by step to set them up. Want to save more? Then take advantage of Plaxify's flash deals and purchase diamonds in bulk to receive up to another 10% of discount. With its fast onboarding, competitive pricing, and top notch customer support, Plaxify is the ultimate choice for anyone wanting to progress quickly in their game. Make sure to check out the link in the description below and start saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. That brings me to step 4 on how to kill your game, alienate your biggest spenders by releasing untested and buggy features. There are many big spenders whom themselves have limitless money, but as any purchases, you are willing to pay for a product which works. 
yet State of Survival has an amazing reputation of releasing features that don't work as intended or bugs in updates that destroy something else. Remember that bug where all your defense heroes would be removed from your wall and thousands of players just lost years of progress. Some players literally cried after logging in to see their hard work over the years literally vanished overnight. While State of Survival claims to have fixed this and compensated by now, that emotional damage has been done. And no matter what, it's not easily repairable by another 100 bio caps and search map compensations. But this is state of survival that we're talking about. And if this issue has not been resolved for you, let me know in the comments below. Finally, total destruction was achieved when state of survival got itself removed from the Apple iOS store. Players from iOS store could not buy their bundles and when they referred to the Apple iOS store, they couldn't find the app available anymore. For some time, survivors thought it was a bug but clearly when you keep messing with your prizes month after month releasing your own payment features outside the app and you start pissing off the likes of Apple and Google, you get punished. You can be an ass against your community, you can be an ass against your YouTubers who are helping your community but there is always going Going to be a bigger badass out there and Apple flexed its muscle to say enough is enough. What basically happened is State of Survival failed to adhere to the terms of condition of your contract. Apple literally showed State of Survival who is the bigger gorilla and for now, while State of Survival is back in the Apple iOS store, but whether the issues plaguing State of Survival has been addressed or not, I don't know. This is just the beginning. Will Google also realize that they are being played by State of Survival and pull the plug? Well, again, and only in time will find out. Well, folks, any businesses in real life would be heading towards bankruptcy with all these missteps and if state of survival don't sort out this shit it's over it's all over the competition is already lurking over their head other game titles are encroaching in the same space and poaching big spenders some have even timed the release of some of the best new game titles just at the perfect moment when state of survival is making every effort to kill their own game i ask king's group if you are watching this content to sort out your shit and start listening to your customers, your community and your players. Otherwise, the writing's on the wall. I don't see how you will recover from this debacle at all. This is all ultimately you're doing and it's down to you to make the first steps to fix the mess you created. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, do like the video, smash the subscribe button for more amazing contents. Thank you. Goodbye.